Hi guys, Wardrums here, and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the final event, Hexagon. Right at the start, turn your camera around and look for some free platforms you can jump to. This is not critical, but it will help you gain a little overview over the next level of tiles. Now you want to try and distance yourself from other players if possible by jumping on each platform. If not possible and you fall further down, start running to make holes the level that you're currently on, until you have a small section of tiles that is just for yourself, and then start jumping again. Repeat this process all the way down. This tactic will seem very chaotic in the beginning, but will become easier and easier to execute, mainly due to two factors. Firstly, and most importantly, players will have been spread out over multiple of levels, making it more likely for your level to have fewer players. Secondly, as you get further down, the levels will tend to be slightly bigger, with the smallest level being on the very top, and the biggest level being on the very bottom. While jumping from tile to tile, you want to look quite far ahead and try and plan out a route that you can go. Sometimes other players will interrupt that route, and you'll have to adapt on the fly. A good route will also try to include a way to get to bigger sections of the next level. Keep calm and calculated, and if possible, try and make small sections of tiles exclusive to you. This is of course not always possible, and sometimes you will just have to admit defeat, and hope that you're luckier the next time. When it comes to the jump strat, it is all about the muscle memory. Learning how long you can stay on a platform before you need to jump can greatly improve how long you have before you have to jump down to the next level. This is of course very important in some of those nail-biting situations on the final level. After landing on a tile, it will stay there for a little more than half a second before disappearing. Again, it is very important to stay calm and collected, as half a second is much longer than you would initially think. This footage is actually not the best representation of how long you can take on each tile, as I wasn't 100% focused in this situation. Another very important skill to learn is to judge whether you can jump over a gap or not. Jumping over single tile gaps is very easy as long as you make sure you have a little bit of momentum before jumping. Two tile gaps are a little bit more tricky as you will often need a dive in order to get over. When diving, I find it very useful to try and aim for a tile that has another tile right behind it, as this often ensures that I can actually keep on running even if my fall guy is not ready to jump yet. Lastly, we will try and take a look at a different strategy that you will see at least one or two players use every single time you get this map. In this strategy, you purposefully let yourself fall down a couple of levels or even all the way to the very bottom to clear as many tiles as absolutely possible. This way, when other players try to do the jump strat, they will eventually run out of tiles and then they will have a very long fall down to, hopefully, the slime. Personally, I dislike using this strat as I feel much less in control when compared to using the jump strat. But I do know that a lot of players have very good success rate with this strategy, so if it works for you, go ahead and use it. It is now your turn to take what you've learned and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video, or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also make sure to leave a comment on which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand, or you want me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums, and you have been you, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and a good life. Bye.